if you live in Cape Town's northern suburbs, uh, specifically around the Durbanville area, and you would like to know how the property market has been performing, uh, then this video is for you. As you know, property prices are usually determined by uh, the levels of supply and demand in a free economy. Of course, the levels of supply and demand will vary depending on certain factors such as interest rates, uh, the general cost of living, the overall health of the economy, uh, area-specific factors that would cause people to either want to move into or out of a specific area, and so forth. Let's have a look at a couple of factors that uh, could have influenced the supply and demand in the recent past. Firstly, interest rates. So just recently we had another hike of 0.75% on the prime interest rates, uh, which brought it up to 10.5%. So during the pandemic, uh, interest rates went down to a low of 7% uh, around about July 2020. Um, and at the moment it's at 10.5%. Now if somebody purchased the property in July 2020 at an interest rate of 7%, uh, let's say he took out a 2 million rand bond, and now the interest rate has gone up to 10.5%, he would be paying approximately 4,500 Rand more per month on that bond if the bond is calculated over a 20-year period. Of course, add on to that uh, the cost of other credit that, that, a, that a consumer might have, such as credit cards, uh, personal loans, overdrafts, vehicle financing, which most people have. Um, so that increase from 7% up to 10.5% could really overall have a, have a huge effect on a person's uh, monthly expenses. So if that increase in expenses becomes too large, some people might not be able to afford their properties anymore. Uh, that could, of course, cause more properties to come in the market, which could have a, a downward effect on pricing. Then also just the general cost of living. Uh, with the fuel prices that have been going up ridiculously lately, um, that also has a knock-on effect onto most products that we, that we consume on a monthly basis. So that, that, has, you know, that tends to push inflation right up. And then as soon as inflation goes up, the, the normal reaction of the South African Reserve Bank is to push interest rates up again. So all these things have a negative effect and they can influence uh, property prices in the market. But with all that being said, let's now go and have a look at some statistics um, which will give us a good indication of the health of the property market in Durbanville and surrounding areas at the moment. Firstly, we can look at how many properties are actually on the market. In May 2020, in the height of the pandemic, there were just over 700 properties on the market in Durbanville. Uh, that came down to about 560 properties that were on the market. Uh, in February the following year, February 2021. But then since July 2021 until November currently, um, the amount of properties that are on the market in Durban will has remained fairly constant between sort of 450 and 500 properties on the market at any, any, at any given time. Next, we have a look at how many of the properties that were on the market actually sold. So over the last 12 months, there were just over 1,700 registered sales in Durbanville, which gives you an average of about 146 per month. If you shorten that to the last three months, it comes up to pretty much the same figure of roughly about 150 properties uh, that were registered per month. If we take those two figures and bring them into perspective with each other. So we take the average number of properties that are on the market at any given time, and then the average properties that sell every month, um, then, you, then you can work that out and we call it how many months worth of stock do we have on the market. So for instance, currently there's 487 properties on the market in Durbanville, and the average monthly sales lately has been 146 properties per month. So if you take the 487 divided by the 146, you get a ratio of 3.33. So currently there are about three and a third months worth of stock available on the market. That ratio of 3.33 usually indicates a fairly stable market, doesn't really favor sellers or buyers um, at this specific stage. In comparison, certain comp comparable areas up in Joburg that I've had a look at, um, you would have a ratio at the moment of between 8 and 9, which means you've got about 8 months worth of stock available on the market. A ratio as high as that of 8 or 9 would tend to start moving towards a buyer's market, so property prices could start dropping there. However, as indicated, currently in Durbanville, we tend to, we, we're sitting on a fairly balanced market. So the question we often get asked as estate agents, obviously, is is it a good time to buy or is it a good time to sell? Well, if you're a seller, all indications at the moment are that it's still a good time to sell. Um, of course, we're not sure. We don't have a crystal ball to know what's going to happen going forth. Uh, these recent interest rates, we haven't seen the effect of them really in Durbanville yet. But nevertheless, uh, all things being equal, at the moment that the market looks good in, in, in Durbanville for buyers and sellers, it's a fair market. Time will tell 
whether the interest rates, higher cost of living, etc. is really going to have a, a big effect. Anyway, I hope that gave you some perspective on what's happening in the market in Durbanville and surrounding areas. If you'd like to be kept up to date in future, please like and subscribe to all our channels on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and of course TikTok. And then also visit our website www.propla.co.za where you'll find a frequently asked questions section where most of your property questions will, can be will, are answered. Uh, of course, other than that, please feel free to get in touch with us at any time if you need any advice. And of course, if you're thinking of selling your property, please do get in touch so we can uh, discuss and devise a customized marketing plan for your property. Go well, stay safe, and God bless.